I work for the dispatch department here at Envoy in the SOC. The SOC is the System Operational Control Center. We do flight planning, we route our aircraft, we make sure that they're getting uh, scheduled into their maintenance bases. We also work hands in hand with crew scheduling and maintenance. Since you do have to have a special license to be qualified, I went to a school called IFOD and I was able to obtain my license after six weeks. Once you get hired by an airline after obtaining your license, you will go through ground school, which for Envoy it's six weeks, and then you'll do OJT for another six weeks. So a total of 12 weeks of training, and then you have to pass a two-day comp check. Once you pass your two-day comp check, then you can become a dispatcher. The dispatcher and the pilot in command will typically communicate either by phone, through A cars. The dispatcher will go ahead and plan the release and the captain will review it and they'll discuss things that they may want to change or not. After that, they need to remain in contact with them throughout the entirety of the flight and once the flight terminates. On a day-to-day -day basis, I'm helping the manager on duty run the daily operation. So we're focusing on dealing with weather, maintenance issues, if we're having to rescue a flight, if we're having to rescue passengers, uh, we're setting all that up and coordinating. I'm also in charge of making sure that we are adequately staffed. If people um, are calling in sick, that we have enough manpower in the dispatch department to run the operation itself. I started with American Airlines Federal Credit Union back in 2015 and meeting a lot of airline employees, I found the dispatch department and I got my dispatch license. Once I got my dispatch license, I started in crew scheduling. And after that, I got into the dispatch department. I dispatched for a few years and then I became a full-time equipment coordinator, which is where we route our aircraft. And from there, I became a dispatch supervisor. One thing that I do like about Envoy and what's kept me here is the opportunity for growth. Uh, we are smaller, we are more family oriented, and it was easy to kind of climb up the ladder in that aspect um, and have those mentors in my life that allowed me to grow and to learn different parts of the operation and then, you know, be where I'm at now. Some of my favorite non-rev trips that I've done, uh, I would say are Cuba, Iceland, Italy, Greece. Uh, I've done a lot of travel in my time here and it's definitely one of my favorite parts about working for Envoy. I'd advise anybody who wants to become a dispatcher to shoot for the stars. You know, you never know where you're gonna land and you might be in a different position than you could have ever imagined.